Judy Martin's disappearance is one that's full of questionable actions. Her story starts with her leaving her dorm room on the 24th of May in 1978. She attended Kent State University. Friends saw her leave her room, but remarked that Judy, who was 22 at the time, was wearing a Halloween costume. The costume included a wig, some jeans, a brown and yellow blouse, a trench coat and some glasses. After being out all night, she decided to head back to her room at around 2.30 in the morning. This was located at Engelman Hall, which shouldn't have taken long to get to from where she was last seen. However, she never made it back to her room and she's never been seen since. What happened next, however, would baffle researchers. The police were soon called in to assess the situation. However, files and information that were collected by the police were disposed of, because according to them, they couldn't prove that a crime had occurred. At the time of her disappearance, Judy was five feet four inches tall and weighed around 120 pounds. Many belongings were found in her room by the police. This included things like her glasses and student ID card. Her family remarked that it was unlike Judy not to contact them. She would always be checking in and calling. One of the lead researchers on the case said that her disappearance is a real mystery. As with most disappearances, a massive search of the nearby area was conducted. This included the police getting a hold of National Guard helicopters that were fitted with the best technology around. Various officers in the region looked everywhere they could, including local riverbanks. This is because in the past, people who have been partying the night before and then suddenly disappear, sometimes end up getting found in bodies of water. Police then turned to one of Judy's ex-boyfriends. He was put through a polygraph test but the police said that he passed this with no issues. At this point, the police started to get desperate and even brought a psychic on board who told them that Towner's Woods in Franklin is the place to look, further saying that that's where Judy's body lays. However, after searching this region, nothing was found. A bizarre twist happened two years after Judy's disappearance. A police chief received a phone call from a county jail saying there was a woman by the name of Judy Martinez. This woman was noted as being strikingly similar to Judy Martins. She was placed in jail due to prostitution and even gave the same date of birth as Judy Martins. However, one thing that was off about this woman was that she looked much older than Judy. Judy's mother, upon seeing this woman, claimed that this was her daughter. However, the father was of the opposite opinion and said, this is not my daughter. The police have said that various people have come forward with tips, but that they never help with the search. The police chief said the case of Judy Martins is just bizarre. Even though the case isn't solved, the majority of paperwork and files have been disposed of. This is due to record tension policies. As of today, investigators have no idea as to the whereabouts of Judy Martins. So what do you make of this mysterious disappearance? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.